everybody. Welcome to Smash Sisters at Super Smash Con 2018. Woohoo! Yep, we have our uh, first crew over here. Uh, uh, I don't know the crew names. They don't do exactly have crew names. I think okay. they're just split up. Yeah. Yeah, today's the first day, so it's only casual crews only. We're still going to have a ton of fun. And, um, oh, we have a tri cast here today, so that's exciting. Exactly, yeah. And then no, our friend is actually one of the people playing right now. Oh, yeah, nice. she's up yeah, right now. yeah, the Fox player. All she started right. playing uh, like a few months ago. Smack when she saw Summit, she was like, "Wow, this is sick!" That's it. So awesome. she wanted to get into it. So this is her first like major. So that's really cool. Oh, I love We're that. Really looking forward to see how her yeah. like fundamentals from other games because she started out as a league player translates into melee. Okay. So she definitely has like game sense and everything, but we want to see like. It'll be interesting to see how like that translates onto melee, especially playing on stream for like one of her first matches. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Um, I actually study video game expertise, and one good thing to know is that. Um, oh, okay. Here goes the cruise. There will be a little bit of transfer as far as like knowing how to grind skill. We'll see what else. She also seems to love to play aggressive, which always makes for a really fun and like viewing experience. She also messes up the controls occasionally, which you can see with like the side bees. I mean, that's just something that comes with practice, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Every, the more you play wants. the game. Oh, nice. So, one thing that she might not that she might not be too comfortable with is recovery at the moment. So that was good. That was a good down smash by Mochi to Remind cover. me again, which one is your friend? Uh, the, the fox. fox. Which is alley face or Mochi? Yeah, alley okay. face. All right, cool. Nice. Oh, that. Oh, oh no. no! Did she slide off or did she run off? That was, that was an SD. Oh, oh. You, that, was a, that was a sick jump read. Well, at least, yeah. 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 I'm just happy she took a stock at this point. <laughs> no, those fundamentals are important and they only come with time, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah you, can, exactly. you can see her like taking center stage. And yeah, like that's something that a lot of beginners are afraid to do. They're afraid to jump, they're afraid to go off stage, and then they're afraid to like take control and be aggro. So she's got that going. Oh, nice. And Moki is doing really good too. She's getting all of her confirms, the, like the, the oh, yeah, things that combo for her, she's hitting all of them, which is really important as a Sheik player. You want to make sure the things that you're guaranteed you're getting. And yeah. definitely covering most recovery options as well. Making sure that... Oh. But uh, yeah, if Alice could take another stock, it'd be really good for their crew. Because yeah, there's 20 stocks. Yeah, so five for crew, or five, five people. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, that was a good follow-up. Oh, yeah, uh, the fair is gonna send at such an angle at that point. Not even Fox can make it back from that. She took a stock. There are more play players on the team to yeah, know, exactly. Out. Definitely better than my first time playing, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Do you all know um, how many people are per crew? I think it's five because there's twenty stocks. Five, yeah. Cool. Cool. Makes sense. All right. Do we actually have a puff or no? <laughs> That'll be fun. Oh, Mario. That'd be interesting. A Bowser? A Bowser? That's even better. Oh, <laughs> I hope yeah. not. Bowser Sheik doesn't sound fun. Oh, I, I just want to see a lot of clean upbeats out of shield. That's the only thing I know that Bowser can do. I mean, but I don't know. Bowser may be slow as heck when Sheik is quick, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> do you know for crew battles if you have to commit to Zelda or Sheik? I don't know. That'd be I don't... pretty interesting. I'm... I'm assuming it's the same as standard play, where if you go Sheik, that's your bad decision to make. <laughs> or, or not Sheik, if you go Zelda, that's your bad decision to make. That's something I always wonder on that play. Is it grimy to switch from character, character to character since you have to pick one? Oh, Sweet Pea, not Sweet Pea, okay. No, okay. <laughs> you know, I'm really impressed how many girls turned out, and like, you've also got kind of a crowd. Um, just stopping yeah. by and watching yeah. all the play. It's, it's a lot awesome. of good energy here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are also these really cool... Um, the crowns, Burger yeah. King style crowns of Smash Sisters. Can you see this? Yes, okay. Um, besides the classic jelly bracelets. So lots of ways to show support even if you're not here playing. I love these. I think these are such a great idea. They are. And the first person I saw wearing one was Toussaint too, and I was oh like, oh, God. that's a cool crown. What is it for? And then I saw yeah. Smash Sisters, and yeah. 
then you're here. Now you're here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I told my two friends to come sign up, and they were like, yeah, we're down. So I yeah, yeah. ended up here. <laughs> It looks like we're going to see a Sheik Ditto. Yes. Darn. No Bowser. No Bowser. We might get Zelda. True. Oh, true. If we're lucky. <laughs> I think everyone's waiting for the countdown. So is this your guys' first Smash Con? Yes. Yes, first Smash Con. Awesome. Do you, yeah. do you live around here or did you travel? Oh, uh, we live in New Jersey. Okay. So we've been, I went to Apex 2015 and I've been to Royal Flush. Nice. And he's been to a few other majors too. Uh, yeah, I just came back from Evo and I, the time before that I was at Shine. This is a great major to go to. Yeah, it was, it's more affordable than Shine. Yes. And uh, it seems like an awesome place. There's yeah. so much There's so much to do here compared yeah, to like a lot fun. of just standard tournaments. Right. Three, two, one, go. Two. All right, so we are seeing Sheik Ditto. Oh, it is Maryland. A lot of aerial game here. Speaking of local. <laughs> Lovely. I wonder if they opted for chain grab. Never know. Moki's kind of taking control here, too. Wow. That was, that was a really good follow by Moki. Looks like she didn't want to go too hard on Alice, but here she's really... That was an awesome combo. I mean, now she's got that oh. momentum. Exactly. <laughs> That was a great crouch cancel. To sub, oh, jump yeah. a little too high. Oh. I wonder if Sweet Pea's gonna t take out the Zelda. Maybe. It seems like that was an accident, though. Yeah, there have been a few misinputs. Um, that's okay. She yeah. is kind of hard to control with a beat, the, you know, if you don't know how to crispy oh, do your beat that, moves. That was a nice down spot. Yeah, mainly in general, if you're not playing a lot, you're going to make miss inputs, so. Yeah. yeah. If she didn't have time to warm up, she might be feeling that now. No, come on. And the taunt, no. Mochi's feeling herself. Oh, man. If she takes out two people, that's a pretty good reason. She oh. might not even get right. to stop. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sweepy takes another one. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> I think the uh, the blue crew is really feeling the or uh, the T Sweet Peas team is really feeling the pressure here now because they're they're they just fell six stocks behind. Yep. But it's yeah, casual, so it's for fun. So. <laughs> I mean, Loki's sick though. That's that was a lot of great sheet game sheet gameplay, especially that game. There, there is a strategy to picking your crews, right? Like deciding your lineup. So it might be that they put some player, beginner players first to let them on, and now we're gonna see some, you know, more tech. Or, yeah. yeah. And all they're gonna put on their best player first to try and clean up. Right. right. Save some stages that you want to save for your best players, and maybe some certain counter picks that you want. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I guess we're waiting for our third member of this. Uh, is this Maryland group? Yeah, but um, have you guys looked at the artist alley and stuff? Oh, oh my that, god, it's, it's the best time going through that. I know. Oh, you could spend like two hours just like going and looking at all the charms. If you ever want I money to disappear from your, if you want money to ever disappear from your hand, just go over go there. Go to artist alley. And within ten minutes, it'll be a blur, and you I just mean, have even fifty if you don't prints. Want, yeah, even if you don't want prints, there's still like charms. There are like plushies. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, and there's so many cool things to buy here. Yeah, I like the clothing is sick too. Like yeah. there was so many like I like the style that like we're like moving away from like just like regular graphic tees for like yeah. a lot of our cut clothing and going into like actual clothing you'll wear outside of. Right. Oh, have you seen Spiff, uh, Spiff Space? No, I don't Spiff think so. is, Spiff is really. They're, they yeah. have they have the clothing game a lot. Oh yeah, maybe I probably looked at it. Before, Man, yeah. it's like su it's like subtle. So it'll show like the Samus symbol like instead of a sports symbol or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or like uh, Rosalina Starbucks. Combo, like, yeah, it's really cool. It's so cool. It's such a good idea, too, because, like, you, like, you wear it, right? And it's not, like, outright saying, like, I'm a geek, but someone else who's into what you're into will know what exactly. it's up. It's the, it's the tell, but it's not, yeah. Uh, I was impressed at Evo, too. They had a women's t-shirt, and I, like, put it on. I'm like, wait, I have a shape. <laughs> I can wear a tournament shirt to have a shape. So definitely think that's the right move for tournaments moving forward. <laughs> okay. Oh, did anybody catch uh, the character that, um... No, I wasn't paying enough attention. I know, uh, we were over here geeking out about... Yeah, the artist that, that was <laughs> nice, yeah. That's alright, oh, another Sheik Ditto. Another Sheik Ditto. 
I mean, speaking as a woman who, like, didn't know the game very well, Sheik was the first character I gravitated towards when I was watching Melee, if only because I'm like, she's badass, but she's still a girl, right? She is very <laughs> badass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. I also feel like she's a great character to learn the game with. Oh, yeah. And I think a lot of like a lot of melee can be learned through Sheik. Uh -huh. Oh, for sure. Text and that's why like a lot of game. yeah, a lot of good players started with Sheik and with other people too. You can also do fun thing platforms like with grab chain chain traps, you know. And also, she's, also, she's such a lovable character. Oh, for sure. Like who hasn't played Ocarina of Time and thought Sheik was sick? Yeah. Or even if you haven't, all you have to do is see her transform into a princess, and you're like, oh yeah, I'm, in, yeah, I'm into this all. Two characters right for one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh. Moki's about to take her nine star. All right. Sand berry. Sand berry. Sand berry. Sand berry. It's doing well though. Yeah, they're both they're both at equal percent here. Someone's just got to make a, like a strong decision that this is gonna be over. Like that. Wow, that nine stocks for her. <laughs> She's been playing a really good defensive game, just waiting for her opponent to come in with something unsafe and tilting after. Yeah. Ooh, let's see how she recovers here. Yeah, I mean, jumping is risky in any case, but when you have the aerial that's going to hit right there, that, that you know they have control of their character. Oh, that was an interesting combo, but it worked out. She racked up 64%. Oh my gosh. You can do it, Satin Berry. <laughs> She's unstoppable here. Finally loses her first dog this game. But, uh... Nice. Risky recovery there, but paid off. Oh, that was a nice sweet back air. It looked like it was going to set up into something. Yeah, but it's like at this point, you just want strong hits to get them off stage. To get that kill, you know. Because the, especially the longer you live in crew battles, like the stock is worth so much more. Because you're yes. racking up percent, you're getting kills. And it's for your teammates. Exactly. So, Sandberry really wants to keep this next stock. Oh, man. Nice treat of tilt stick. Yeah, but Moji's neutral game is on point. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, it's been solid throughout. Her punish game as well. Oh, and pulling out the Zelda. Oh no, we're not actually. Oh, that was a risk. That was land. a nice. That was a nicely timed grab. Oh, oh. and the back air. What happened? Oh, oh no. She landed on stage. Nice. That was a nice roll read. And with that, Mochi's Reign of Terror is over after yeah, 10, 10, 10 stocks. 10 stocks. Uh, I think she did pretty great. <laughs> A really impressive showing there. All right, I wonder who was up next. Spinda taking control with her <laughs> with her hat. Like, all right, next in line, go, go. It is a pretty cool experience to like come to tournaments and go to Smash Sisters and like see the same people and over and over again. It really is a community building thing. That is, because um, it's hard to find you know, girls around the venue, and it's even harder to walk up and be like, I don't know who you are, do you play? <laughs> like, can I introduce myself? So this is like the perfect way. I yeah, mean. and it's like you're making friends and you're also playing Melee, so yes. like. It's a win-win. Yes. <laughs> and then when you're, if you're already playing Melee, you know later you can like walk up to them in the weekend and be like, hey, you wanna play some more Melee? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like a lot less awkward because you already like kind of know each other. You can be like, yeah, initially hey, initially breaking the ice is sick. super huge. <laughs> yes, definitely. I really wanna see some sick Valkyrie. Yeah, Sheik's great, but like four, five, four in a row is a little bit. <laughs> Let's go. Now for crew battles, how does stage picking work? I think it depends on like the, uh, how it's set up. Sometimes there's one band, or sometimes there's like three stages they can pick from. Battlefield, Falco Sheik. Oh no, yes, okay, good. <laughs> like, yeah, she needs to drop through stocks. Saddenberry versus Rosenberg, or Rosenberg. Two, one, go! Okay, Rosenberg. Nice. 
That was a good bait on the get-up attack. Ooh, but landed right into the clutches. Yep, and I think that should be the song. Oh, that was a good recovery. Yeah, yeah Rosenberg seems to be trying to apply pressure with some aerials, but Sandberry's having none of it. Yeah, I imagine we're going to see more lasers as this goes. Laser approaches, laser... It's very important for Valkyrie to go Makes his life so much easier. Yes. <laughs> Especially with the Sheik who needs to get in there. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Sandberry deals with the lasers, too. Don't you hate it when that up B always burns you? Yeah. <laughs> it just feels bad. I'm just trying to edge guard a Sheik here. Oh, no, and then uh, he air dodges and SDs. Unfortunate. Satinberry did dodge a laser. I was impressed by that. <laughs> there was a spot dodge of a laser. Satinberry definitely seems to have the game down whenever they're on the platforms. That shield's getting tiny. You're losing your oh, options, good up, good up smash to stuff out that. And I love that Falco up air to cover tech, like tech rolls on the platform. Pops him up for just another great follow up afterwards. Yeah, it looks like Rosenberg really wants to take that very up top. Um, you know, let's get that. <laughs> oh, that forward oh, smash call out was really good. The first one, and the second one. Oh, oh, no. she kills herself. Like, well, no. It's okay. She took the stock. She took the stock. This is true. That was so unfortunate. Hate to see that happen. Because it's crew battle and that stock. Every stock yeah, matters. Every stock matters. <laughs> Alright, looks like some strategery is happening. <laughs> Labbing out some Falco counterplay. See who, go, who can go in. It's Rosalina cosplay. Y'all, look at that Ascot. I, I literally mean Ascot. I like. That is a perfect, is it a racing suit? Oh, b behind you. Yeah, okay. yeah, I think it's the, I know, I don't really know Mario oh games God. too well, but I think she does wear that in Mario Kart. Mario Kart, yes. Yeah, when nice. she's on the uh, motorcycles at least. I mean, a dress isn't that practical. Yeah, exactly. Of <laughs> Who's trying to race a car in a dress? <laughs> Maybe Peach. Does Peach? <laughs> Peach I might. think Peach also has a racing suit. Okay. That's true. This is That is an awesome racing suit. Like, I should know that. I spend way too much of my life on Mario Kart 8. It's really great to see the cosplays here, too. Oh, yeah. for sure. They're so many talented so people. Good. Yeah. Even the ones that aren't, like, super in your face. Um, this is the place to, like, show it off. <laughs> oh, Icy's. Icy's the best character in crew battles by far. <laughs> Let's see how many stocks she takes. I mean, I get, oh, it's such a risk with wobbling. As far as like, do you want to keep it light and fun or do you want to like, no, wobbling so fun. hard. Yeah. Wobbling, uh, fun. wobbling can be fun. Ice Climber's the anti-friendlies character. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. It's kind of like playing Marth and you hate going on FD against like a, like a spacey and friendlies. You're like, do I? But like part of it is like, if you're playing friendlies with someone, you, you want to get better while you're having fun oh, too. Yeah. So like, I know for myself at least, like what a Ice Climbers player doesn't wobble, like I'll be like, why are you trying your hardest against me, you know? So, it's like the double-edged sword, neither yeah. one is the right answer. <laughs> yeah, I think Rosenberg's already a little bit on the defensive. He's doing a lot more jumps, like, get away, let me get you on my platforms. Exactly, it's just so, like, scary going up an Ice Climbers player. You yeah. feel like any mistake leads to death, and commonly it does. Yeah. Yep. You definitely need to play smart against would have a good game plan. Yes. I like the wait on that get up attack though. Yeah. Opting to use forward smash a lot, I see, which I heard is actually pretty safe yeah. against ice climbers. Falco's Falco. forward smash is actually really good in the ice climbers matchup, especially because if you space it correctly, it's safe on shield. Is that because of the push off? Yeah, and like the way he moves in it. I know Pudgy Panda always tells me about how how it's safe. Like, it seems to, to never the, work for me. <laughs> you have to be the right spacing away. <laughs> Somebody's just waiting, like, who's gonna go in? Who's gonna go in? Nice. And that was a good side B height to get above the ice block. Oh. oh. Yeah, 
of course. Forward smash at the stock. Very important to do that as soon as possible now too, because you don't want to rag, you don't want to lose your Nana. Because even if you're not wobbling, Nana is still like very important, like in how you rack up damage. Rosenberg and doing a great job just getting rid of Nana and then also killing Kova in the process. Well, we've seen at least two deaths that were failure to recover, in part because Nana wasn't there. So. That was a good anti-air up tilt. Oh, that was a great jab, actually. It put Falcon in a really unfavorable position to recover there. Still managed to turn it around. Rosenberg looking like she just wants to split up the climbers right now and focus on killing Nana. I mean, that was a sick shine so crap. Oh, oh! But the fire is gonna burn the oh. whole Wow. Two SDs. Yeah, yeah it's, it's unfortunate. Very. At least this one was at a high percent, unlike the other one. Yeah. All right. Does everything sound good for the sound quality? Like, is it too loud or too soft? I'm not noticing any problems with sound. No, me neither. I, All good here. Could you turn it up so, like, what I can hear is louder? Because I'm kind of... So you can hear everything? Yeah, because it's kind of quiet for me. Like, everyone else is kind of quiet. Can you guys talk? Yeah. All right, uh, yeah, that's yeah, better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's turning it up. I still can't hear you guys, though, because you're not talking. We are silent. <laughs> So here we go, it looks like another Satan. Falco. It's Satan! Satan, oh. I love Satan so much. I love watching her play. She's such a funny per a fun person to be around in general. And bringing that Falco back. Looking confident too. She's like, yeah, I'm ready. She's <laughs> always looking confident, let's be real. <laughs> yeah, I've actually known Satan for a while too, because she's also part of the New Jersey scene. Oh, cool. And uh, she was really good friends with some of my friends, so of mm. course. Saw each other Do you think she's going to take a similar approach to Rosenberg with dealing with Ices? I think there will probably be more lasers from her. I I've definitely been around her a lot. I don't think I've played melee with her a lot, though. All right, here we go. She's definitely one of the homies, though. One of the people that's so much fun to hang out with. Playing melee or not playing melee. Literally, you just said we're going to see more lasers. Six lasers, right yeah. there. <laughs> Commentator's blessing, you got it right. <laughs> but it's a smart approach, because what, what are ice climbers going to do? It desyncs them, and like it kind of makes it awkward to do anything out of, unless you're a really good ice climbers player, and you know what you want to do out of a desync. Right. Yeah, that comes with a lot of practice. Oh. That was really clean. It's a really quick stock there, actually. Yeah, Satan has her game plan and knows what she wants to do. Yeah, I think Boo Boo is, is going a little hard with the icicles. Um, and, like, yes, it feels safer sometimes to do ranged moves, but the real strength of the ice is going to be in that. Those hammers. Yeah, you exactly. definitely lose in the projectile trading game there. Yes. Yeah. And especially when there's two climbers, the hammers do so much damage and have so much knockback. And there's that percentage. Good DI though. Oh no! That was a beautiful opportunity. Just got out outmaneuvered. Oh, and not the double dash attack. Oh, oh and if you waited a little long, cause the, longer because of the slow getup attack. Oh. It's like, please, I just want to <laughs> kill you. <laughs> At 207%. Okay. Yeah, even a single <laughs> hammer up here will kill me. And Tane's laughing her off the, the fact that she died. I mean, today's oh, casual cruise. This is like, yeah. this is the time to like play around, learn something new. Don't want to be too serious. Or take it too seriously. I mean, for some people, the competitive crew, um, 
thing also requires like you submitting your matches. So some people aren't qualified, and so this is their chance to like get real melee play. Oh yeah. Um, it's just a matter of you know your experience. Oh no, they're so far apart. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for the Nana. Thing. Yeah. Or she, Falco didn't go for the Nana. Yeah. Impressive showing there. She had control of pretty much the whole set. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, always important to have a positive mindset, especially even playing competitively or even in friendlies. It helps you always get better, be more mindful of what you're doing, and especially against ICs, so you don't want to be on tilt. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of salt potential and uh, managing your own salt and just a healthy attitude toward the game. Like, I'm playing this for fun, you know? I am trying to gain skill, I'm trying to get better, but, like, in the end, I made this choice to play this game. Important for anybody. I'm putting together my crown. I wonder how you get these. There's a bunch just right over there. No, I mean like makeup. Oh. Like I want to make crowns for my birthday party. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Give them out to your friends. Yeah. Look who uh, Burger King gets theirs from. And just maybe it's one of those like custom T-shirt print shops just yeah. for crowns. Oh no. All right. Crown and commentary don't mix. But Did you put it on the the widest setting? Maybe it'll fit over your headphones. Who have we got up? All right. Okay, why does seven? All right, we got this. Yes, fits nice. around the headphones. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two, two. So no platforms, it's gonna change things. It can be really annoying trying to deal with Falco's lasers on this stage, mm -hmm. especially if you don't know how to properly handle it. Do you know what the Sheik's tag is? Bonfire tag. Bonfire. She seems so familiar, I just couldn't put my tongue on it. It wasn't updated too when I asked the question. <laughs> Thank you, stream captain. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so Bonfire has to take 10 more stocks with her four. But it's a real morale boost if you can knock somebody out, right? So if Bonfire can get Satan out, one step closer. And like this game, she's been in total control. She's already taken a stock and she almost took a second and she's only at 60%. So yep. she can go out of this game without losing a single stock. Going out there to the edge, not being afraid. Good. Covering everything. Yes. Yes. That was perfect right there. Good melee. TM. <laughs> <laughs> also showing she can power shield and before when Satan was lasering, how she could just take a laser oh, and no. properly deal with it. That was a super weird angle. But yeah. I think she may have been like SDIing out or something by accident. Maybe she wasn't expecting the dare and the back air instead, and that's why. Just a spike, you can't, you can't, <laughs> can't fight it. Yeah, Satan's definitely on the defensive. Both in terms of giving up control. Ooh. Wow, that's it. That's the game. I think we have an announcement. Do I... We can hear you. So, oh, sorry. Um, so, do y'all have y'all heard of Bonfire before? No. Yeah. Okay. So, Bonfire actually lived in North Carolina, which is where I'm from, for a few months. Um, she ended up being PR there, like I think, like seven or eight. She is super, super, super solid. Yeah. Um, very, very good player. Certainly showed it. Yeah. You know, if there's a, if there's a player that can take all those stocks, maybe it could be her. Yeah, she seemed really familiar. I just couldn't put my tongue on like what the tag was off the top of my head. That's what I mean. Anchor. You gotta have your anchor. Okay. It's like maybe they won't get to play, but if they do, it's because we need them. <laughs> exactly. Another good Rosalina. 
I also like that people wear the Smash colors here. Or and the same thing with like the art is that you could like if you like to play White Falcon, you could probably find some art of White Falcon and nowhere else in the world. Yeah, because it doesn't exist anywhere else, but like in our little game series. Yep. There's a really impressive booth here where um, they were selling custom painted amiibos mm. to the colors of the characters that aren't featured with yeah. neutral colors. Yeah. And it's just oh, if I just had the money. I saw her Twitter because they're still functional. Oh yeah. There's so functional definitely. amiibos, and it's like, but it's my character. Game. <laughs> I think that definitely shook Bonfire up. Zaltus. <laughs> Two, you know Zaltus. All right. There's already smooth movement with Ganondorf, which is not something I ever get to say when I'm on the mic. <laughs> you always gotta appreciate when a good good Ganondorf movement. It's so hard to pull off. Yeah. Oh! He's got such a big hitbox. <laughs> He's, uh, he has a big hurt box too. Yes. Gets caught by anything. And this is just a really unfortunate matchup. Because Sheik really does well here. Speed, range. Ganon just def desperately wants to get in. And when he does, I believe he also has like a chain grab and some things to deal with Sheik, but, but it's the just chain so grab is rough. very hard. Like only a few of like the top Ganons can even do it, and they can't even do it consistently. Mm -hmm. But keep surviving. Uh, Sheik generally Jinx. the low tier and mid tier slayer, and Gan yeah. is no exception. He's just like the perfect weight. He just falls right into like every move goes into something else. He's so big. Sometimes you just miss space your aerials and stuff, and it just hits. it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. It just connects. <laughs> Bonfire looks like she feels bad for that edge grade. <laughs> Zoltis is totally laughing about it too. How she brings the red so so good. And then of course Ganon hits like a truck every time, so. Yeah, and how many options are there for a Ganon when Sheik's falling back down? Yeah. Like yeah, he'll he'll kill in a hurry, but he won't get too many combos out of it. Mm -hmm. Nice. That was a great aerial coming down. I gotta say, I come, being up above Sheik as Ganon has got to be it's got to be a rough life. Nice. All right, so Bonfire has two more stocks. And she brought down the uh, the gap to only four, so it's still on four. But back when it saw when she came in, it was two on it was four on eleven. So oh my gosh, is it Spinda? They're bringing in Spinda though. Yeah, she's gonna face her toughest opponent yet now. Yeah, well, no, this is a great way to end this crew battle though. Oh my god, I'm excited now. Yeah, this should definitely be a great matchup. is queen. The crowd, I just, I, okay, sorry. Mangoing, <laughs> mangoing a little too hard. It's all right. <laughs> it's allowed here. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Pokemon. All right, let's do a countdown. She was the one that was <laughs> tricking the countdown before. <laughs> All right. So a laser approach already. In a bad spot, but good air dodge back on stage. Yeah, Bonfire's really going to want to go for those games right now. She's down. She really needs anything she can get right now. Oh, oh look my at that. god. That was what an amazing holy combo. Oh, god. air to that up smash. Oh, oh my god. Holy. A zero to death, basically. I feel like someone just like flipped on the light switch, like ultra mode. 
It's so satisfying watching the tip of that F card up, up smash. smash. Yeah, that was awesome. That was amazing. Spinda like had to adjust her glasses like, oh, we, we serious. <laughs> and going into a crew battle, Bonfire already took seven stocks. And mm -hmm. This is Spinda's first match. So, so she's feeling herself. Yeah, exactly. And you guys, I can tell she only took like 13% when she took that stock. When that means she's on the right track to being able to win this match. No, why are they out here? Oh, get out of there! So bold move being right in the pit with Foxy Sheik. The deficit is yeah, it's definitely a very scary situation to be in that pit wow. with the Fox. Wow. wow. Just throwing Fox up up against the wall and bouncing him off. I mean, Spindle also tried the same technique, but she just has the advantage here. And also, Bonfire is just feeling herself so much right now. But Spinda's at kill. Uh, well, Spinda has Bonfire at kill percent now. Oh no! Oh, oh no. my god! And from being at such a stock deficit, now Bonfire is has a stock lead against the against Spinda's crew. My and heart that's is the breaking. first time her crew had a stock lead this yeah. entire crew battle. That's the power of Sheik, man. Just throw your spaces off. It's the power of Bonfire. She really yeah, is a great Sheik player. It's been a look thing to close out the stock. Nice. Ooh. Oh, that's good. the needles into the bear. And that's... Wow. Bonfire's a legend. Oh my gosh. And she didn't drop a single stock that game. That was really cool. That was cool. I still, I'm still in shock of that first. The, the combo the down, just like. The down air to the up smash, the charged up smash too. It's not like it was just an up smash, it was yeah. a charge. And she hit like the tip of it to send her, oof. Great stuff. Dang. So that was a lot. Okay, so we're gonna stop the video for this mod if you're done. Well, thanks for joining us.